Right now, there's global infighting among those of the Islamic faith. No doubt, since 9-11, it's not been easy for moderate Muslims worldwide trying to retake their religion from the Islamic extremist. In tonight's safe and secure report, national correspondent Jeff Bernard talks to the founder of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy about who's to blame. Shaking the stigma of Islamist extremism since 9-11 is the priority of the AIFD, a reform group dedicated to giving moderate Muslims a voice and pushing back against Islamic terrorists. Terror is a tactic and we're trying to recalibrate our policy to rather than being centered on violence and terrorism to be a countering violent Islamism. Dr. Zudi Jasser is the author of A Battle for the Soul of Islam, a book calling for Muslim reform. One of Jasser's main targets is the Muslim Brotherhood, which many experts believe has global terrorist ties, what Jasser calls a Sharia supremacist organization. It believes that the state, the constitution, and its legal system should be driven by Islamic law. Dr. Jasser says Muslims who denounce Islamism and advocate for progressive reform like gender equality continue to be ignored by the mainstream media. He's written several letters to media executives which state in part, media organizations like yours have wholly failed to acknowledge the real divide between the many American Muslims who reject the Islamist fantasy of an Islamic state. To date, he hasn't received one response back. That's what we see with a lot of advisors in the White House in media and elsewhere, they want to suppress the education of Americans into understanding that there is diversity, that there are Muslims that are not Islamists. Jasser says by ignoring progressive Muslims, the mainstream media unfairly gives the Islamists the loudest voice. In Washington, I'm Jeff Barn reporting. We contacted the media outlets the doctor wrote to and we have yet to hear back from any of them.